is going on, boys and girls? Brendan from Market Makers, your home for Wyckoff, Advanced Fibonacci TA. We are your leading market indicator. Guys, going to talk about the possibility of putting in a bottom. I know everybody's talking about it. Michael Saylor saying this is a great buying opportunity. So we're going to look at the possibility of a bottom. And to do that, we need to examine the equities to see if they may have bottom. Because I watched too much CNBC today, and they have no idea. You get all kinds of opinions. Oh, I think we're going down another 5%, another 10%. I think the bottom's in. You should buy this. You should buy that. This is what we're doing. So let's look at it from a TA perspective, not a fundamentals perspective. And guys, our telegram that I talked about on yesterday's video, overwhelming response, a lot of interest for trade signals on telegram. Just as a reminder, click that link in the video description. We're going to allow a first wave to come in, and this is going to be a pilot program for us. We want to make sure this runs super smooth for you guys, okay? So everything we do, I strive to be professional. I spent 13 years at an investment bank. Before that, I was at a software startup. Before that, I was trading energy. So this is something I want to be done right, and so you guys have the best possible experience. So it will be limited slots at first. So if you are interested to join the VIP, Market Makers, Trade Signals, and Telegram, definitely click the link in the video description, and Lee will get back to you. And guys, as well, this video is brought to you by our two terrific sponsors, BitGet Anonymous Crypto Trading. Our $5,000 tournament starts in July. Five winners, $1,000 each. No VPN needed. And all you need is an email to trade. And of course, SimpleFX, where I trade everything else, equities, commodities, and Forex, guys. $5,000 bonus. I am an official brand ambassador for them. So you can definitely download those apps. Try them out. They both have demo modes. You would absolutely love them. And uh, guys, in the stock market especially, there's just so many trades that we can start talking about on this channel. Let's go ahead and jump into the TA. Guys, let's back up. Five of the last seven days now, 90% or almost 90% of the stocks have sold off. The last time that happened was 1928. That's right, the lead up to the 1929 crash, okay? So is the bottom truly in? Let's look at it from a technical analysis standpoint. Bitcoin tracks closest to the NASDAQ. So let's look at the NASDAQ and see what we have to do here to put some type of bottom in for a rally. The NASDAQ came down here in the daily time frame, kissed its 0 0.5, 11,057. You need to hold this. Remember, Monday, the markets are closed. So we got to hold this 11,057. And you know what? We're probably going to have to accumulate here for a little bit so we can get some upward momentum going. So if next week is a short week, I don't know how much momentum we can get next week, but we got to put this bottom in. If you don't put this bottom in, guys, simple TA concept. If you lose the 0.5 at 11,057, you have the 618. If you don't reflect off the 618, if this is not your retracement point for a move back to the upside, then your bias will be to descend further in a reversal. And that reversal at the one fib would take you to sub. 10K on the NASDAQ. That would be 9,172 if you hit the one fib, okay? And perhaps more importantly, you'd be losing the 45 angle going all the way back to the uh, pandemic lows. The 45, so remember, that's a simple concept trading below it, strong bearish trend. So you wanna hold where you're at. And if we can hold where we're at, put a bottom in and move up, Hopefully next week, get some more points. The NASDAQ is up the most today. It is up one spot, 2-4%. Everything else is going back and forth, positive and negative, up 137 points. So let's go and examine Bitcoin and see exactly what Bitcoin's doing as well. Oh, let's stop off at the DXY. That worked out well. Well, the DXY, guys, we do need to talk about this because a strong dollar means a weak equities market, a weak Bitcoin. The dollar is rising up still. It got back up above. 104 spot 100 and what it's looking to do is potentially if it retraces uses this as support again look how clearly it's respecting this GAN fan okay you're trading in this channel so you're moving these are ascending angles you're still moving to the upside overall very bearish for equities to have a strong dollar very bearish for Bitcoin to have a strong dollar that's money flowing in the cash that's that's inflows from other countries as well this is the US dollar measured against a basket of currencies we talked about last video how inflation is a problem around the world 
world. One of my close friends in Buenos Aires, they are experiencing in Argentina almost 60% inflation. They have made it illegal to utilize dollars in their country. There's withdrawal limits in their country. There's all price controls in their country. I'm not saying every country is going to look like that, but I'm telling you some countries have it extremely bad. And the countries that are just now experiencing it are starting to get a little bit worse day by day. Everybody knows that when you see the inflation in our energy, in our food, and everything that we buy. So we don't want the dollar to get too strong if we want the markets to go up, but unfortunately it is still tracking in a bullish nature. If it does come back down below 104, this could be a nice reprieve for a pump in the markets, okay? Let's go ahead and look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin on the weekly, guys, we spent a lot of time, and again, rightly so, we spent a lot of time because of these descending markets looking at our key support. So what we're going to do here is look and see, I mean, is there a possibility for some type of rally? Michael Saylor thinks so. Uh, Novogratz, or however you say his name, the billionaire hedge fund guy that loves Bitcoin, he seems to think this is a buying opportunity too. So it could be. Because you know price moves in waves, we as traders set aside our bias, we set aside our macro analysis, and we look for trades up and down. But the problem that you still have here, and it is gonna be a continual problem until you flip it, is your 0 0.5, 20,933. And if you guys remember, we hit this almost on the dollar. This is a very accurate FIB layout. And of course you have your 200 and your 233. You gotta get back above this. You gotta at least flip the 0 0.5 and get back above your 200. So really you gotta come back up here, trade around 23,635, I think to be poised for more of a rally. Yes, that's whatever that is. You know, a, a thousand point, 2,000 point move right there. So that is a smaller time frame move, but I'm talking about a move to hit some targets, right? That's what I want to see is a move to hit some targets. So we're going to look at the smaller time frames as well. But just in general, just remember until you flip that 200, which is that roughly at 22.3, it's going to be a continual problem. And being below 20,933 is also a continual problem. And of course, you're below this 45 angle. And we may not be flipping that 45 angle anytime soon. Again, this is a this is going back to the beginning of the bull run, and this is confirming a strong bearish trend. You know, it's basically just telling you what type of market you are trading in. Looking at this on the daily, as you can see, we had this bullish accumulation. We had our attempt to break out of our trading range, which fell, made our cup. We got the cup and then just capitulate. Look at that. We just capitulated down, okay? We capitulated down, and again, this is a short we took in our room, guys, and these are the types of trades that will be going into the Telegram Signals group as well. So you definitely want to express some interest in that. We'll talk to you about that. And this is going, this came down and now this is on the daily. We only have a couple candles, guys. This isn't any type of structure to me other than trying to put in some type of bottom, right? That's what we're looking to do here with price. And if you scroll up here, you can see the 0.5 at 20,933. You can see we're below it on the daily time frame. You can see a little bit more candles here than on the weekly. And it's just every time you come back above it, you're just getting supply dumped on you. So you're trying to hold this GAN fan line. You're trying to hold this little structure here. Let's see what we have on the daily. Volume needs to come down more. Or we need a compressor volatility channel. As you can see, it can get much tighter and we're still very open, still oversold because the daily time frame is going to lag behind your other time frames. And again, guys, a holy grail trade on a pump, which this would require extreme bullishness. We'd have to have a massive rally in equities to do this. Come up to your 200 and 233, okay? Because last time we did that and fell, 47% in a bear market, okay? So this is what we would love to get to, but this is all the way up here at 39 and 40K, okay? So again, realistic targets, we need to move forward to smaller time frames, eight hour time frame. As you can see, I put this in a mini call. If you can see, we're just hovering here. This is the same FIB layout from the weekly and the daily, okay? So you still have your 0.5 at 20,933, your support levels, but I took a smaller wave projection for our upside. And what I expect to happen if we have to accumulate here for a while, you have your moving averages on your eight hour, which is what we're looking at now, and your four hour, and they'll just be coming down, okay? They're gonna be coming down on the four hour. They're gonna be approaching that 27K area on the four hour. And if you start looking at your larger time frames, look at the size of this resistance cloud. Again, this was just a massive wasted opportunity to not pump through there, and we just fell apart, right? So now we have to accumulate, and again, you're poised here, okay? You're in the bottom area of your trading range, this can easily do this 
if we have more dumping, more negativity, continue into next week in the equities, you could dump down and you'd be going down to that 18,000 to 30 level, which we want to stay above because the only other resistance or only other support below that, remember, is your long-term volume support going all the way back to the previous bull run, 9,500. That's your only other strong key support level. And then of course the 3,800 underneath that, why is the 3,800 strong? Somebody asked me that. Because when everything fell apart, when people thought the world was ending just two years ago in March, that's where Bitcoin found support. That's what it is, long-term support. So we know we have 9,500, we have 3,800. And obviously above that, we have 18,230. Got to flip 20,933. Let's go to the four hour. Four hour time frame because this is more relevant for those of you that want to trade some of these smaller moves. Again, the 200, 233 are descending. Like I said, I expect them to approach somewhere around here, the 27,116. And again, what you're doing here is not good. You are making lower highs. You see this? You're making lower highs. The same way in Wyckoff, okay? When you're in a Wyckoff trading range, remember, you want to have your selling climax candle. You want to see what? You want to see higher lows get made, right? Basic TA, higher lows get made so you exit your trading range, get your pullback, your Livermore pivot, also your cut pattern, and you just spring out. That's what you need to have is these higher lows in your range. When you have it going the reverse way, you can flip this to the downside and come find the 18,230, okay? Just be very well aware of that when you are taking positions. Remember, if you guys trade in the one hour, 15 minute, 30 minute, make sure you always go back up a couple of levels on the time frame. Look at the bigger picture to see where you are, okay? Look at the bigger picture. Because when you're in those smaller time frames, the candles look super fast and they can be super dramatic but when you zoom out and look at the bigger picture you get a better idea of where you are now you can see on the four hour we are tightening up some but we need this channel to get much tighter okay we need it much tighter it's somewhere in the middle here we're just under the median line here in our rsx which is similar to an rsi and then as you can see our volume uh moving average is elevated because we had some big candles in here so this all needs to tighten back up for a move as well so basically what you need to do here guys is you got to hold the support okay you got to hold the support. If you don't, you can easily roll down to 18,230. And again, I'm looking for these to move down. And this is totally tradable if we can hold this range. Now, again, the markets are closed this weekend, but crypto is 24-7. So this will be really interesting to see if we just piddle along here, just go sideways like this, or if we actually start making some type of structure in either direction. So really, again, I want to see these markets hold. If the equities do hold next week, Bitcoin needs to hold and we can accumulate for a rally up. We are long overdue, guys. We are long overdue for a rally in equities. Like I said, massive selling, okay? Five of the last seven days, 90% of the stock sold off. Five of the last seven trading days. So massive selling. So we are long overdue for a rally. Bitcoin needs to hold on. For the holders out there, you need to hold super hard because if you do not, look for 18.230 to get hit. And let's see if we have anything else worth looking at here on our indicators. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw Ichi on the four hour. Just give us a visual image here and then we'll wrap this video up. So, your four hour time frame, remember, this is a visual um, representation of resistance, okay? Your cloud's thick. This will start to get thinner just like it did up here, right? It'll start to get thinner if we can hold this accumulation range and keep waving our candles back and forth in a wave pattern, this will start to tighten up. And then you'll get to a point out here in the future where it's very narrow and you can look to do that, right? That's what we're looking for. And then we're gonna have our targets depending where everything descends to because this so far has been the kiss of death and this dissension. So we'll look for these trade setups. Guys, let me show you the natural gas trade, by the way, that I shared with you guys on Monday. This was, I told you right down here, you can trade this on Simple FX. I told you this is a buying opportunity. It did move up 12% in two days. And of course, now with the energy market factoring in the recession possibility, oil's dumping, natural gas is dumping. I think I have oil too, because I know someone's gonna ask me about that. Oil is dumping. And as you guys know, I'm super bullish on oil. I said I, I did believe we would be up to uh, over 150 by the, end of, by the end of the summer. So we'll see how this goes. But I do think this is still going to be a great buy if we come down to the 618 at $100 a barrel. A lot of support down here. A lot of selling right now. Hit the 3 to 2, bounced up. 
But if we can get support at the 0.5, I actually want it to retrace as deep as possible. Give me a deep retracement because I know the prices are going to stay high and whatever supply relief we get, I think will be short lived. And this is, you know, this is the oil ascension has been absolutely like a rocket ship. So you got profit taking, you have the US talking with other countries, Saudi Arabia, trying to get more production. You have our president threatening oil companies with increased taxes if they can't find a way to pump more, even though he canceled all of their oil leases in his first day in office. And he also shut down the Keystone pipeline and he wonders why we have oil high oil prices. So we'll see how this goes, but I do anticipate this will retrace, but I hope not yet. Look for this. If it does come to the 618, guys, this could be an excellent trading opportunity. This is massive ascension, especially when you're trading this with leverage, okay? And of course, always risk responsibly. Know your limits. All right, guys, have a fantastic Friday evening. Don't do anything too crazy. Another video, everything else coming soon, my friends. Message us about that telegram, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great weekend.